Hey lovelies, welcome back to my channel. My name is Erianel and welcome to this weekend reading vlog. Today is Saturday, it's about 3pm. I've had a very slow day so I haven't filmed a lot so far. I had a lion this morning, it was amazing. I went and had breakfast with my fiancé, it was actually delicious. I'm gonna insert quite a bit of footage for b-roll from the past couple of days because I did go and purchase Fourth Wing. It was the only place that had it in stock where I live and I couldn't resist. I've seen it everywhere. I'm sure most of you who are watching this understand how crazy the hype has been for this book. I want to start reading it this weekend, but I'm also currently reading Atalanta by Jennifer Saint and I want to finish reading that tonight so that tomorrow I can dive straight into Fourth Wing. My fiance is like, no, you need to finish your tandem read of Queen of Shadows, uh, Queen of Shadows, of <laughs> Tower of Dawn and Empire of Storms. And I'm kind of like, I'm not, I'm not vibing with that right now. I don't want to finish that right now. I want to finish Atalanta and I want to start reading Fourth Wing. Like, I'm sorry. I just, I'm not vibing with that tandem read. I do want to get back into it. One of my Instagram <laughs> friends that I chat to sometimes is going to kill me because I've stopped reading it. Uh, but I do plan to finish it at some point because I really want to finish the whole series and read Kingdom of Ash. I want to film a vlog of me reading Kingdom of Ash. So that is definitely on my list. It's on my list. Just like The Fall of Gondolin is still on my list. I didn't make the book club that I mentioned in my previous video, uh, but this is still on my list and something I really want to read as well. So like I said, it's 3 p.m. I've pretty much done nothing today. For the last like two hours, I've been working on my pagan business. I've been updating listings. Um, I need, I'm right now I'm going through each one and I'm updating pricing and descriptions and there was an issue with the website that my fiance helped me fix earlier. So yeah, just working through things like that. I want to send out an email so I've got to get everything right before I do that. And then I'm also working on another Etsy shop um, which I'm going to use my YouTube branding for and it's going to have tote bags and so I need to get that going and I want to order some samples so I can show them off and kind of get an idea of the quality of them before I really start selling them. So kind of excited for that. Uh, what else is going on today? I need to do some cleaning as well. I should probably write a list of everything I need to do because I'm feeling kind of overwhelmed. There's just like a hundred things going on. I need to do some social media work for something else as well. Uh, and yeah, there's just many, many things. And all I want to do is sit down and read Atalanta. So my thoughts on Atalanta. First of all, how beautiful is this cover? Seriously, I am completely in love with this cover. I love Jennifer Saint's book covers. I've read Ariadne, I've read Electra, and yes, now I'm reading Atalanta. I'm two thirds of the way done. So finishing it tonight should be pretty realistic if I just sit down and I actually read. So I'll just give you a quick rundown of Atalanta. If you're not too familiar with it, if you are, let me know your thoughts below. It's about, it's an ancient Greek retelling and it's about Atalanta who is a mortal and she's abandoned at birth and left to die because she's a female. A uh, group of bears, a family of bears find her and they start to raise her and then the goddess Artemis comes upon her and then helps shape her into the uh, woman she is today. And then Artemis sends her on a quest to try and get glory in the name of Artemis. So it is quite interesting. It's fast paced. Things are happening and progressing um, quite quickly, especially with her relationships with other people. The book is definitely focused on like hating men and I'm not really down for that. Uh, that's something I don't enjoy in a lot of the modern retellings. I feel like I can't say too much because I haven't read the like original stories or the proper literature to do with the Greek retellings. Um, I would love to. That is definitely something that is on my list. Uh, however, I'm not too familiar with the original stories, uh, but I definitely do not like that. I feel like a lot of them are like man hating and like I said I'm not I don't support that um I think it's BS so that part's not fun however I'm hoping that Atalanta as a character that she develops by the end of the story and kind of goes against things that have been that she's been influenced by things she's been programmed to think and so yeah I'm, I'm really keen to see how that kind of progresses and I will definitely keep you updated 
like I said, I went and I got fourth wing because I couldn't handle myself. This is another beautiful cover. It is gold, just like the Atalanta one has streaks of shimmery gold. I love gold. That could just be like the inner dragon in me speaking. I don't know, but I just love it so much. And I do love dragons as well. I just realized that, yeah. So uh, this is all about dragons. Um, I haven't actually read the blurb, so I'm just going to read like a little bit of that. And then, yeah, I'll give you my thoughts. I'm holding it upside down, so that's great. I've been talking to... Her name's Tiana. I'm not sure how to pronounce her YouTube uh, username, so I'll just pop it on the screen. I'm so excited to share thoughts with her. But I saw on her Instagram stories this morning, she's literally like 20 chapters through already, and I'm like dying inside because we got it on the same day and I haven't even started it yet. Uh, no pressure. So yeah, I don't know what it's about. Let's read the blurb and then I'll give you my thoughts. Welcome to the brutal and elite world of Basquiat War College. 20-year-old Violet Sorengale was supposed to enter the Squibe Quadrant, leaving a quiet life among books and history. Now the commanding general, her toughest talons mother, has ordered Violet to join the hundreds of candidates striving to become the elite of Navarre, Dragon Riders. But when you're smaller than everyone else and your body is brittle, death is only a heartbeat away, because dragons don't bond to fragile humans. They incinerate them. With fewer dragons willing to bond than cadets, most would kill Violet to better their own chances of success. The rest would kill her just for being her mother's daughter, like Zardan Ryerson, the most powerful and ruthless wing leader in the Rydance quadrant. quadrant. She'll need every edge her wits can give her just to see the next sunrise. Yet every day the war outside grows more deadly, the kingdom's protective wards are falling, and even worse, Violet begins to suspect leadership is hiding a terrible secret. Everyone at Basquiat has an agenda, so sleep with one eye open, because once you enter, there are only two ways out, graduate or die. This sounds juicy. I have honestly not read too many books that are set in like a school type of setting, so I am keen to see how it's going. Like I said, everyone's been raving about this, but I have seen a couple reviews of people saying it's overhyped and it's not that good, but uh, most of those people were biased and they just didn't like school settings. So, you know, we'll see how it goes. I, I don't know if it's going to be too descriptive or it's going to be really straightforward, concise writing. Uh, so yeah, if you've started reading this or it's on your TBR, please comment below. Let me know. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know why you want to read it. Let me know what you're hoping for. Um, I'd love to have a chat about that. I'm just hoping for lots of dragons and like juicy moments, tension. It is quite a big book, so I don't know how long it's going to take me to read uh, and power through. But that's okay. That is okay. I'm happy with that. Like I said, I'm obsessed with dragons. Uh, and like the bond between dragons and ri dragons and riders, which seems like this book focuses on a lot, that makes me kind of excited. So yeah, and also it's got like a review up the top on the cover from Jennifer Armantrout, and I freaking love from Blood and Ash. I really want to finish reading that series. I've only read the first one, but it's like sixty dollars for one book here in Australia, and I'm just not okay with that right now. That kind of makes me sad. But anyway, let's not be sad. Let's be happy. Um, I will give you guys my thoughts on this as I start reading it. Hopefully tomorrow. So I'm going to get back into working on my Etsy Pagan shop and all the other things that come along with that. I've got some Lord of the Rings Online Rivendell ambience going on, so I'm feeling very elvish. I'm feeling cosy, it's cold, but I have the heater on. I'm probably going to be working on this for a couple more hours. Then I'm going to cook some dinner, clean some of the house, and I'm going to write a list of things that I need to get done before my head explodes. And I'm also going to try and finish reading Atalanta tonight. So I hope you enjoy, I hope you enjoy uh, me sharing my thoughts on these books. And yeah, let's have a cozy vlog, cozy weekend together. And yeah, let's get into it.
guys, I am back again to give you just an update on what I've been doing for the past couple of hours. It is now 8.40 p.m. I've literally just been updating my products, changing their prices. I started a sale as well for my shop. I need to send out an EDM, but I can't get into my account. So that's great. Anyway, I can't stop eyeing off this book and I really want to go read Atalanta and finish this. So I think that's what I'm about to do. It is so cold though. I don't know if I should get my Udi out and wear that, but I'm thinking I might because it's just so freaking cold, even underneath the heater. But I am having a very cozy day. I've just been getting stuff done. And so I've kind of been really like hyper-focused on that and not done much else. I made some lasagna and salad for dinner and hung out with my fiance for a little bit while he's doing work up there. He's working on his business. So it was nice to spend some time up there. The cats are acting weird because they're literally freezing. I've been listening to Peaceful Lord of the Rings Rivendell Ambience still. I've been hanging out with my pal ChatGPT. Definitely recommend. If you don't know what that is, please Google it. Surely everyone by now knows what ChatGPT is. So yeah, it's amazing. Really helpful for doing business type of things. So yes, I think I'm going to go have a shower, warm up and... I will catch you guys later and give you my thoughts on Atalanta when I finally finish it. lovelies today is sunday i just spent the morning going out to a food and wine festival with my fiance it was such a lovely morning it's about 2 p.m now it's actually freaking freezing i've whipped my audi out i didn't wear this last year because it honestly wasn't that cold last year but this year it's already freezing and obviously it's only autumn so yeah i'll show you guys um a couple things that we picked up when we were at the festival there was some music we had some lunch and we just had a look around at the stalls and yeah it was just a really really nice day we did pick up two of these squeezy honeys 
Um, they are made not too far from where we live and my fiance taste tested them. They are iron bark ones and he said it tasted delicious. We love honey. So yeah, we got two of those. Um, and the lady we talked to was really, really lovely. The gentleman actually had like a hive of bees and he did like a talk. So we sat down and we watched that for a bit and yeah, it was really, really fun and I'm excited to try this. While we were there, we also picked up some herb and garlic jerky. I do like to have jerky every now and then. I'm really trying to find ways to have more protein. Um, so this will be interesting to see how it goes. So we also picked up some organic uh, fruit from a cute little stall. It's all grown within 15 kilometers of where we live. So we got some pineapple, we got some really cute looking little tomatoes, we got some Russian garlic uh, and some avocados. And then we also went to this stall and we got some chili jam and we got some tomato chutney. Now I love chili, so I'm really excited to try the chili jam. Um, not too sure what to expect. I don't think I've had chili jam before, but I love spicy stuff. And then yeah, my fiance picked some tomato chutney. So yeah, we'll see how these go. I'm really excited for all of these. Um, I feel good when I'm eating organic and locally grown food. So yeah, I will let you guys know if I do try any of these and how they tasted. Reading update for Atalanta. I tried to stay up for as long as I could handle last night, which was about 11.30. Um, and I think I only made it to like page 270. So I've still got about 70 pages to go. I know that I will finish this today. I'm probably going to read it a bit now. And then I'm going to go to the gym. I have not gone this weekend. I need to go now. I need to stop saying on Sunday. No, I'm going to start on Monday. No, I just need to go. Uh, so yes, I'm gonna do some legs and I'll take you guys along with me for a little bit of that Then when I come home, I'm gonna start making the French onion soup. Then I'm gonna do some cleaning I've also got to write my pen pal letter. I'm really excited for doing that But I need I don't think I have any old Tattered paper, which is what I want to write it on so I might have to make some of those and if I do I will show you how I make old looking paper um, And if you don't know what I mean, I'll find something to show you so when I'm saying old tattered weathered paper, this is what I mean. This is one that I drew a map on and I made myself. I literally just cook it in the oven with some tea or some coffee grinds. But I did just find these. I forgot that my fiance had these ones that are already like pre-made. So I might use those. I don't know. We'll see. I kind of prefer to do handmade. But if I'm feeling lazy or running out of time, I will use these. I'm going to read for a bit now, go to the gym. I kind of want to play Lord of the Rings online. It's on in the background again with some ambiance, but I really, really feel like playing it. It's just such a cozy game and it makes me so happy. And I've actually been catching up with one of my friends that I used to play Lord of the Rings online with in like 2016. So yeah, we don't talk often, but it's been really, really nice catching up with her. And you know, I also made a friend on a bookstagram as well who has just started playing Lord of the Rings online. So it would be nice to get in contact with her and see if she wants to like join in sometime and have a playthrough. Um, but like, let me know in the comments if you've played Lord of the Rings online, if that's your type of thing. If not, I definitely recommend. I might be doing weekly hour long playthrough videos as well. Um, yeah, it's just something that I want to do. Um, I don't, I'm probably not going to be on screen chatting about it, but it's going to be like cozy. Um, and I also want to do some videos of my Elvish poetry. So let me know below if you would like to see videos of me reciting some of my poetry um, and my poetry in Elvish because um, I used to write a lot of poetry set in Middle Earth. And yeah, I don't know. It's just a hobby of mine and I want to get back into it and I'd love to share it with you guys. So let me know your thoughts below if that's something that you would interest you or something you'd be eager to hear.
Okay, so I just filmed this entire clip for like 10 minutes and realized that my mic was not working properly. And so that'll teach me for not testing it anyway. Pretty sure it's working now. I've got to quickly update you because I left my mics on and they're going to die. And it's also nearly 11 p.m. and I need to get ready for work in the morning and go to sleep. So yes, since I last updated you, I think it was like 3 p.m. before I went to the gym. Anyway, I went to the gym, did some legs. I'm freaking so sore. Tomorrow's gonna be rough and so is the day after. I'm gonna be so freaking sore. But I feel good and I'm happy that I went. And I spent most of the rest of the afternoon cooking a uh, homemade French onion soup, which was delicious. And I also just cleaned and then watched a movie with my fiance while I finished reading Atalanta. So yes, I've got my final update for you. This book is gonna be like a three star it's not as good as Ariadne, not as good as Electra. I'm kind of disappointed uh, and I'm kind of still figuring out how I feel about it. Um, but it's not Jennifer Saint's writing that I have an issue with. I love her writing. It's clear, it's concise. I think I've said that numerous times. Uh, her storytelling is fantastic and I feel like I get into the, into the mind of the main character, which was Atalanta, but without getting like giving too much spoilers away. I don't think I was a fan of the main character. Um, and when I finished reading it, I did look up some of the myths just to see like, and compare how Jennifer Saint followed them. And it seems like she followed them closely. So I don't think it's Jennifer Saint's like, problem or anything to do with her. It's more the myth she chose to retell. It's just very feminist and not in a good way. It's all about hating men and I was really holding out and hoping for Atalanta to develop as a character um, and that just didn't happen. I felt like she was very very selfish especially in part three and part four of the book. I feel like she has no self-awareness and she's just only really cares about herself and just yeah I don't want to give spoilers because there's a few things in there that are pretty like you have don't have much of an idea they're gonna happen and they do and yeah I just it wasn't that good. I did read it pretty quickly, um, but like I said, Jennifer Saint's writing itself is great. I just did not like the story uh, or the myth that she chose to retell. So if you've read Ariadne and you've read Electra, then I recommend reading it and just seeing how you feel about it. Uh, but yeah, it just wasn't a book for me and I'm quite disappointed. But I'm still glad that I read it. Um, and I think Jennifer Saint has another book coming out next year and I'm not sure what it's gonna be about, but I'm hoping it's more like her previous books because yeah, definitely was a letdown. Anyway, I'm really excited because although I didn't get to start reading Fourth Wing in this vlog, tomorrow I'm gonna be starting the 100 day, 100 pages a day challenge. I'm not going to do the two, the 200 because that is like too much for me. I don't think I'll be able to do that. So I'm going to try the 100 pages a day challenge and I'll be starting this. So I should be able to make a fair way through this but I am thinking I'm going to pick up my Throne of Glass tandem read again because I really need to finish reading that and I haven't read it for like two weeks and it's sitting on my shelf staring at me. So I really really want to get that one done as well. Uh, but yeah, anyway, I am going to go to bed. Um, I'm freaking tired and I still have a few things to do. So thank you so much for joining me for, for this weekend reading vlog. I really appreciated you coming along and spending time with me. Let me know in the comments as well if these are the type of vlogs that you like where I show what's happening in my day as well as reading because really that's what I'm here for, to be realistic. I can't always read. I do a lot of other things as well. So yeah, let me know your thoughts on that. And if you've read Atalanta or Fourth Wing, please also comment and let me know what your thoughts are because I'll be so excited to read and maybe have a chat on um, our different viewpoints or similar viewpoints. So yeah, please uh, follow my Instagram. I'll leave the link in the bio. Please like and subscribe and I will see you guys again soon. Bye.